Back to back chicken dinners on day one and day two, and now talking about the circle. Wait a second, we are gonna have some more action as X. We've got Legion all pushing up on F4. Zaidan, he knows he's getting pushed from multiple directions. I love this, but a quick couple of knocks coming in. Wolverine, oh, they're getting knocked down quite a number of them, and they might just enter not in the nick of time. The one player will be taken down. Dominic needs to be rest as well. Look at Khan just pushing on in. Is he gonna be going for the rest? I don't think so. He's gonna be going in for the push, trying to get the player here. He spots him out, he's gonna oh. go for the close range duel. He's gonna find another player, and now it's it is basically a 1v2 favoring the side of F4. The rest has come on in, but Ryan needs to do a lot of work. He's going to do a fantastic jump up close with the auto shot. He's going to find one. Khan just peering around the corner. And it's going to be a beautiful 1v2 <laughs> from Ryan. Close up and personal. The kiss of death delivered. Now, A1 Esports have T2K in a bit of a pickle. And that jar is about to be shattered real quickly. Jane lying prone, hoping no one spots him out. And he he is not being seen here. He's in the smoke. But the smoke is a giveaway. The smoke is a giveaway. But Jane from inside of the smoke. He's still going to get the knock and the finish as well on to Dante. And Jane doing Beautiful. his best to keep them at bay. He's dealing a little bit more damage. But unfortunately, finally, he will be found out. And Nine Boy getting the trade. However, Utsurga is still there. But then he gets spotted out by Nine Boy. And like you said, those, those doors are made of wood. And they get splintered apart by that rifle however they know what has taken place here they know what went down they know they're a man down and now they're going to be going in for the push and have a look how quickly the smokes have been deployed by Avon esports because they heard some vehicles coming and they're like you know what someone is going to come and try and capitalize on our situation and now we are going to have some shots fired sinister does get taken oh. down but six nine boy and Jax, they definitely have their work cut out for them yeah nine boys already so very low in sinister he's got the little bit of extra smoke but i like what johnny's doing is going in for the the flank all the way to the left hand side and even though it's got a little bit of cover i don't think it's going to be good Jax is going to be left alone and the nade stall with flex they just came and in the span of 10 seconds they flexed so hard on a1 that a1 esports are no more they do get those three kills who had a fantastic super uh -oh, weekend uh -oh, uh -oh. and they're getting pushed though i and es actually pushing future station and oh the explosion battery is going to be spotted out future station well they don't seem to have much future in this particular map, INES will come and wipe them out. That's a that's a full wipe. They don't lose a single player as well. INES, a team who didn't make it to the Super Weekend. Future Station as well didn't make it to the Super Weekend. But in the meantime, Wary might get shot from behind. Again, not much cover to work with. They have to go prone. They're taking fights in multiple directions. Cooney's going to get a kill as well. Nightwing will running and gunning. Gets a knock on the charge. It's a great reaction from him as Cooney. He, they're going to continue on this tear of just mowing down people from above like the gods of death. But you know, again, like I did say that they had the high ground that time, but coming down is going to be tricky. So you can't be up there too long and letting everybody know your position. You are going to pay the price. But it looks like 7C are finally going to be shot at across the way. He shoots, and I think this might just be the end for Clutch. It is going to get a little bit difficult. He is trying his best, but now, I mean, let me just tell you one thing. Does the water make you a little stronger? And he gets a little burst of speed How is he there, alive? and he is still alive. Yo, wow. Clutch, like, how are you alive, my man? We do have a couple of players on 17 dropping. Man. Fear will drop as well. And uh, I think that's it, right? Uh, maybe not, maybe not. Clutch, I, 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 didn't, I didn't see he's Clutch. Out. He's out, he's out. All right, too many bodies dropping at the same time. Couldn't really keep track. But now, the final four teams remaining. And Jiggle will finally fall. It is the final two teams of 4v2 Venom Legends going up against Starward Flex and Starward Flex, everyone alive and they win it in style. Oh. Not a really good start this time around, but Starward Flex, they are actually going after INES and uh, yep. even trade-offs being made over here as uh, Kai Shaw will want to patch himself up before he decides to make a move and it's going to be these two players. Ironic, however, has been taken out of the equation but Johnny somehow still trying to hold himself down <laughs> in that one building but how long is he going to do that? That's the bigger question over He's given a lot of movements, making a lot of noise as a yep. result of which now INES is definitely going to go in for the kill. And of course, they will be quite king kill hungry as Newt has already spotted down Johnny but Johnny over here getting the kill on Newt and of course Clutch being in those nearby phrases. Clutch taken down as well. Johnny is doing an absolute fantastic job. And that's going to be INES getting eliminated. Fire fight sort of pans out. 
Yeah, exactly. DRS was a little separated initially, but again, reuniting back as High Wolf is, of course, going to be making the rotation behind them as well. But a lot of fights are panning out. Of course, Future Station, Grumbling Storm putting down a lot of leads onto the teams that are exposed. And of course, the bot exposed is going to be more kind of like an inviting factor for all the bullets to go down. Snipe Boy, Tina, Massive Water Trouble, Carnage, Probeen barely surviving as well. That might be the end of Carnage as well. And now, seems like Jiggle, of course, Tina, Massive Water Trouble, but he got ran over by the players of Venom Flesh as well. What is going on? It's absolute wow. Carmageddon is what we are witnessing, wow. ladies. But as well, take a look at the confidence that DRS is showing. They are just jumping around all over the place. But that also might be quite detrimental for them. But again, DRS, wow, the domination these guys are showing, the confidence level these guys have in Future Station, certainly somewhere down the line, punishing them. Two members already taken down, and that is going to be Karma. Karma, as we can call it, but right now, take a look. This time, they are working it out for the chicken. Wow. But look at that beautiful Kobe going in from Bad Rev, getting that knock on. And well, now, Venom Legends do not really have a lot of cover to play around. It's uh, yep. wide open. They've just got that soft smokes going out. And any single moment, their players will be picked off one after the other. Exactly. Quite a risky rotation coming in from Nightwing there. But surely is going to be getting the res onto his player or onto his team. And of course, Rafa being the one. And now, again, Venom Legends do have their sights locked onto the players of DRS. And a lot of shots have been taken. But Venom Legends are also getting contested from those left lines. Future Station Grumbling Star again doing a massive amount of damage to the players of Venom Legends as the pushes are happening. Future Station are making the rotation inside the circle as well. And that's going to be Venom Legends falling down as DRS, of course, in those nearby facilities. And they are going to be taking a lot of shots onto the players of uh, Future Station as well. But Galson again taking down one player and certainly wants to take down another one as well as blah 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 again is still the fish. He's like a dolphin, comes up back in and then goes back down. Right back in and still swimming it on. And it's going to be really tough to ask for Bad Rev to get that confirmation provided the situation that we've got DRS right in front of them. Now the vehicle has been blasted off so you've got that soft cover that you have got for yourself. But, but, DRS going after Future Station. This is going to be really interesting. This is exactly what we wanted to see. Bad Rev sort of overextending and being punished for that. That is not called for. Now it all comes down to its evil eye and the meme. We've got to see as to how these two players played out, but because <laughs> otherwise it's just DRS walking off with a victory over here. Well, I mean, exactly. Of course, the last man is going to be surviving from the players of Future Station, uh, Grumless Storm. And um, now they are probably the massive contender as Evil Eye, of course, being the last man. And that's going to be him getting eliminated as well. Now it's all down to blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Who is inside the water and probably committing suicide is going to be a massive chances that he... Goes T2K, have to maybe throw a few grenades as we have on our screens right now. It could have been oh. devastating, but right now it looks like A1 Esports Dante is getting oh. ready to send people down to the depths of hell. Indeed he is, and inky has got a lot of work to do, and there is no escape Dante. Well, it's a divine comedy for him, but not for his opponents. They will be destroyed. A1 Esports make the not exactly a great start. Carnage now running into its A1, and A1's going to be licking the chops. They're hungry for these kills. Jiggle's been spotted out. Nine Boy switching his weapon to the AK-47, looking to take the fight, and he is going to come out on top there. In fact, it's going to be his team and helping him out, but they need to be wary. They need to be careful, as you pointed out earlier, off their behind, off their 180 degrees, because there is a team behind them, and it's a team who have been looking so good so far today. It's Blood Legion. Blood Legion have been playing phenomenally right now. They have that aggression backing them up right now as well. A1 Esports, I think the respite is not over. They're going to get pushed on and that was a decent Molotov over there. Indeed it was. Snipe pushing up in. Nades being tossed in as well. He's tossing multiple nades but Jiggle will fall. Snipe not able to save his team in 9 by so very low as well. And Jax comes in from the side. He's taking a dangerous duel. It's down half HP. He still continues to take the fight. And look at the pushing in tandem. The one to wombo combo. Dante even having a little bit of cover for the reload. They're going to find two. But there's still a player outside side of that area it is Perbeen and he's trying to make a run for it out in the open the ridge <laughs> saves him but he continues to drive on the head oh! and he will be found out in the end A1 Esports are on a tear they are on fire and don't by four members of Starwood Flex, but they don't know his oh, position. Oh, the nade! Oh, it's a smoke. It's a smoke. Oh, the nade! It's a nade. Don't they just stare at it? He's wondering, what, what is that round object? And it explodes right in his face. And with that, he's down to his knees. <gasps> the second nade as well. And it's, oh my lord, Skylight Gaming. They are just tossing in an artillery bombardment and Dante will be finished off. There was no respite for him. They're still not out of nades. 
for the love of God and all that is holy, give them something to work with in A1 Esports. So do Starward Flex, so do PN Crew, and so do Zeus who are in three kills. A1 Esports, though, they were on a tear earlier, but they only have two players remaining. Oh. Make that zero as they will fall. They get nine points in total, a pretty decent out. Struggling, but these guys, Zeus, are starting to step on up. They had a quite a couple of games back to back. It's Starward Flex in the seventh position. Look at the position of Ray out from above. It's really hell, and he is going to be burnt out of his position, but SGX down to one member as they're getting shot at by two teams simultaneously. And look at the push of Blood Legion. They know they're down to one player here. Leon needs to check the angle. He won't, but it doesn't matter. He is still going to get the kill. But unfortunately, because they push out of the mini wall, it's going to be a free couple of kills for Zeus. And now it's the final two teams remaining. It's a 4v2. Uh -oh, uh -oh. Make that a 4v1 now. It's all on Rayon. He's barely alive. He's bleeding out in the open. The dust matted with his blood. And I see he's making him do a tap dance of death. And with that, he will... Those father riches, but this time T2K have you know kind of notched up a bit. They've gone rather into their faces, and no, they're gonna miss out on that oh, one. They're gonna let him go. And oh, there we go. All right, he strikes, man. He gets a knock. That's rated for you. He will of course get that elimination confirmed. <laughs> but that's where the fight is finally wow. broken. Sneaky T2K. Of course, Jane has exposed his position away as well, and now he's taken a oh. lot of shots on the bad room. Bad room barely surviving, but finally taken down as Jane doing an absolute phenomenal job and seems like wow he, he he just completely shook the players of future station because they did not expect him to have such a massive trigger discipline and of course trigger discipline paying it off as Jane gonna be the man to almost take down future station on their knees and take a look at what cops is doing <laughs> he's quite scared so of course gonna be dropping inside the water and doesn't really want to challenge the alpha titan over here so just gonna be you know backing off and taking the uh, sh uh, you know just showing the white flag you know <laughs> I'm gonna back off I'm on the pack and he might have to pay the price for that as I is ironic of course body out demon and has to be taken down as well as Chari, of course, getting knocked out as well. Clutch doing a phenomenal job in holding off the entire building. Now Scarlet Gaming are down with just a two-man squad. As Clutch again trying to take another one down. Of course, they're trying to lob in some utilities as well. But Aeneas finally making the push. And Scarlet Gaming in the massive water trouble. Joker, quite a questionable peek coming in from this lad. And wow. now the last player is just going to get burnt like a chicken and that's gonna be the end for him as well wow quite those three kills but look at blood legion leo trying to reposition wow. Wow. himself wow. but dominic still doing majority of the damage that snipe is trying to trade it off as he's managed to bag in two kills but can ryan pull it off can he make it there in time he is actually trying to push in but where is the backup where is gyro he needs to come into the body but ryan actually sticking it up a beautiful nade being lobbed is it gonna explode though oh. no is gonna be the answer as blah 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 from the far of free takes down gyro this is absolute madness exactly and of course xb blood legion and carnage i am always so destined to watch these guys fight and of course carnage coming out on top and that's going to be the final nail in the coffin put INES. Ironic does realize that Zaki is somewhere down line near him. Going to be lobbing a nade right next to him but not in dealing enough damage to take him down but he has been spotted and of course Nudy going to be taking him down. Indeed and there goes Seal Esports hammered again. Wow. Not really having the best of points but INES they have a different outlook towards this game. Racking up kills one after the other. Yeah. Seven already in their bag. And we wanted to see this team rise up and finally Seal 9 showing and doing something inside the game as they are probably going to be those top three teams who have the highest chance of winning the game. And might just get the chicken dinner because I love their positioning towards the eastern side. No one really to worry about. Maybe the players of uh, T2K might just uh, cause a bit of a trouble but it is INES providing that pressure continuously constantly as Sinister gets down ironic this time but Clutch will be there in time for the trade off and with that we have another team being eliminated. Now A1 Esports having three players on their names and uh, this might be quite uh, troublesome for 7C as well. They are making the rotation inside the circle. Of course, oh. the nades have been lobbed in from the players of 7C and as the nades are lobbed in, they are going to be doing a lot of damage. Clutch going down in the process. Salu making it inside as well. Nilti going down as well. Wow. 
Fear putting down a lot of lead and even a lot of utilities as Fear is going to be getting real up close and personal. Ironic, of course, being in those next side of the stone, but doesn't really know that Fear might get caught off guard by him. And of course, Barely does as well, but that's going to be Fear putting the last nail in the coffin. And wow, incredible plays coming in from Sims. Indeed, R3D. R3D, who had a, a fantastic, uh, fantastic end to their... Uh, to the journey super weekend they've been kind of quiet today INES have finally fallen to Zeus and Zeus they are on a war path it seems like in this particular map in this particular game Venom Legends they have lost Nightwing unfortunately there's no Batman nearby to help him out and DRS are going to use that opportunity to sneak on in and try and isolate these players that is Frypan and Robert but Galden might be pushing in a little too over eager he gets a knock and he won't get the finish he is going to be taken down but Frypan barely alive and Venom Legends are getting bullied here by DRS. They are getting bullied, and mind you, R3D here, this commotion, they're going to be moving in as well. Of course, uh, they do need a few kills to make sure they climb up higher on that leaderboard, as Edgar and Virus could be potentially in a position to come up and mop up all the survivors. It's multiple fights breaking out on multiple fronts amongst multiple teams, Boro. His world getting shook there with that nade. The second one could be massive. If that is a nade, it doesn't look like it was one. Though. I thought it was a smoke or a flashbang. And smokes will be deployed here by Steel Shot to try and get the res onto his teammate Frypan. Carnage Esports will be eliminated. The Miramar Kings from the Super Weekend. They do have a few points to their name. And Zeus, they're not letting up XP. They are still just mowing everyone down. However, they have lost one player in the process and we have also lost a team we've also lost a team also you got to keep one thing in mind although zeus are going to be right in the action one of the members is actually outside a stalwart flex are going to fall in the 13th position nightwing taken down once more by mafia ninja however this time he's not getting up he is not getting back up as he is put on the ground now it is kind of even stevens i'm actually surprised r3d haven't moved in they are kind of well you know what seal esports might be struggling but seal nine they're a little they're holding the seal name up high, right? Four different players, 7C is going to be eliminated as well. We're down now, ladies and gentlemen, to the final 16, 16 alive in the server. Do we have a little bit of a switcheroo going on? Because it kind of feels that way. Venom Legends in the meantime getting defended. Yeah, I agree with you. It would be in a wonderful spot despite the fact that he's 14 meters out. He does need to come up from behind cover as Demon is going to be taken down. That's a huge knock. That's a huge knock from entry. Because that means... Oh, entry! Whoa! A sliver of HP. <laughs> Barely alive. Edgar out in the blue. He's going to heal himself up. He's going to heal. He can still go for a run here. But Char is going to finish out Toffee. Now he's going to go for it. He's going to leg it. Now it's all on Edgar. He's going to finish out the job. But oh. he gets shot at... And I hope you let me in. Let me in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.